Sonia, that's a beautiful name. We have not spoken with you before, have we? No. We're very happy to meet you. We quite like your energy field. It's very good. We wow. see it's a little under stress these days, but <sighs> it's still a beautiful energy. So we're very happy to sit with you. And how may we help you today? Um, I have apparently been under some spiritual attack uh, yes. due to a curse for mm. uh, maybe longer than eight and a half years. I was wondering if you could tell me, um, you know, the individual in question that caused this, right? Mm. <clears throat> this actually is more than one person, and it's in one person started, we would say, 12 12 years, yes, 12 years ago, 12 years ago, and that was a female, um, and her, um, we will say curse because it is, a, it's, it's an easy reference point, it's uh, something, it's more complex than this, but we will say curse. Her curse uh, was not that uh, strong, but it was at a time when you were in um, a state where your uh, your energy field was not uh, consolidated. Yes, you were uh, rather fractured at that time. Your lifestyle, your uh, emotional world, you, you were um, in a rather frenetic pace of living 12 years ago, if you understand what we mean. Yeah. Yes. Um, and which which is not we don't say this as, as a judgment. You know those times uh, in uh, a human's uh, trajectory um, can be quite fun and <laughs> teach you a great deal. Yes, you can learn a great deal about yourself. Yes. Yeah. And so those periods of time are not wrong. Um, we are just saying we are just saying that that is where you were at that time. And those times, um, there is a greater vulnerability to infiltration, yes, yeah. um, it, which is part of the learning. But so we say that her, uh, her, the the female who did this first curse, um, who was her, she? Mm. Who was it? We don't we don't have really a name um, because she is not at all within the scope of your contacts today. Okay. She is completely remote. In fact, we feel she has, uh, has her body has m moved out of the, the vicinity. Mm -hmm. uh, she has moved. Uh, somewhere else and she's not here local she's no longer uh, in the state perhaps you know state yes of course she knows state um, in the state where you live we think she has vacated the state um, but certainly she has vacated the town where you live uh, she's quite far away and it is an irrelevance um, you may know whom we speak of simply by this description that she has vacated the, the location. But uh, her life has gotten uh, wor worse, we will say worse, worse because she uh, was, you, you know how things work in third dimension, it comes back on you, yes, what you put out comes back to you. And now we would, we say this and then we know your mind immediately goes to, oh, what did I put out that I got cursed? <laughs> it's, you didn't, you did not put out anything malevolent. Um, it, it was, it was uh, pure jealousy. It was pure jealousy we see from her side. Um, so it was not that you did something bad and it came back to you as a curse um, because we know you you like to take responsibility for everything <laughs> yes that one is no longer an issue right that curse uh well we talk of it because because you were not in a place to recognize it nor to deal with it it was still the malevolence of it was still within your energy field. Okay. Um, and because it was still, with, but it was not 
as disruptive in your life as it as she wanted it to be it was not as disruptive for you because she was not that powerful you understand mm -hmm. this has to come off what is this okay we understand we can do this we can do this very good usually we can't do physical things that was very good we managed that thank you so she um so it was still within your energy field and so there was a man uh, a man yes a male person that's correct a man uh a boy really emotionally a boy still but a man we will say um and he has a uh, he still holds great resentment he has not grown he has not grown so mm -hmm. <clears throat> um are you aware that he tried to curse me more than one time uh, we are looking at the uh, at the initial aspect of that, but you may t give us any information you wish. But what we want to say is his curse, if you will, came on top of the residual that was already within your energy field. Do you do you understand? Yeah. So it compounded it it uh, compounded one another. You see. Mm -hmm. So he is not an organized entity he is not organized within himself what is his name we d we don't know you mason. know him? Hmm? mason yes this is correct although that is not his true name there's something underneath that but he is trapped um yes we will look at that but uh yes he has uh consistently um sent malevolence toward you in various forms and it has had a variety of impact but one of the issues is that uh, it has been piling up you see just one uh, you could override one but it has been building up you you understand mm -hmm. yes <clears throat> so that is why it seems to have taken this this turn um, and yes, we would say your time frame is accurate. Uh, we are not the greatest with time frames, but we can tell you eight and a half years. Yes, eight and a half. This is midway between eight and nine. Okay, we understand. Eight and a half years is probably accurate, yes. Um, and so we want to say that um, there have been more than you, than you know there have been more incidents than you are aware of uh, that he has projected against you. So the first time he tried to curse me, is there any lingering residue of that curse left on me? And with the second time that he tried to curse me, is, is, it, is, there any, is that curse lingering on me as mm. well? Mm. And there are others. So there are more than the two times of which you are aware. We want to tell you that there are three other times of which you are unaware, okay. okay? So, and we say, yes, there is residue still. Uh, we see that, and, and because it has been piling up and compounded, um, because you were not aware of it, um, you, you, you were aware of some of it but you were not aware of the extent and the damage that it was doing um, so it has compounded so we see that recently recently was it recently someone um, attempted to clear you yes yeah. um, yes this person has very good intentions and she's quite uh, she's she's still growing you understand she's still learning and growing and um, and s we, we will not speak of her because but be, but we like her but she is still learning yes um, so she helped she did help very much um, we would uh, but there is residue yes and with these things this is uh, this is begins 12 years ago yes so um, so it takes more than one one time usually usually want more than one time to eliminate all of it yes we would like uh, with your permission 
we would like to call upon the angelic realm to come through and clear out the, the rest of it. Yes, please. Yes. Thank you very much. Uh, we think this is going to help your life turn around a great deal. Um, so we are, we are uh, who is step? Five of them are stepping up. Five of, from the angelic realm um, are stepping up. And there is a dragon also who would like to work with you if you permit dragon to come in. Is there any ill that can oh, come from working with him? Dragons and the angelic realm both are at 22nd dimension. They both are of the light. Okay. Now, there were dragon wars um, in third dimensional earth millennia ago. There were dragon wars. Um, there were malevolent uh, dragons, dragons who turned against humanity for good cause. Um, and some of them still harbor resentment. But those who uh, harbor resentment toward the human race are not actively malevolent toward the human race. They simply will have nothing to do with humans, you see. So they are, um, they are not active in their hostilities. They, are, they just will not assist. Uh, so the dragon realm, uh, who, who will assist humans, really are quite lovely beings yes they are fierce but you think about um think about a a mother bear how fierce a mother bear is in protecting its young yes sure. and for the most part the bear will just uh, shamble is a good word we like that shamble uh, shamble along and not bother anybody if they are not bothered and that is dragons are like mother bears they will they are fierce in their uh, desire to help and protect you, uh, but they are not uh, malevolent beings. They are just fierce and powerful. Um, so we want to say that um, if you are not comfortable with dragon at this time, uh, dragon will stand by uh, outside your energy field and will not interfere um, <laughs> It's a masculine presence, and he doesn't like uh, me to say interfere because he says, we do not interfere, we assist. <laughs> so I would welcome the angels and the dragon's assistance. Um, can you guys make it so that when Mason is alerted, if he hasn't already been, that his curse was broken, yes. that they, can they protect me from it oh. being recast? There is a system that they're going to bring in uh, at this time uh, as part of the removal uh, that is going to make it very safe. So if you welcome in Dragon, you are going to enjoy the presence of Dragon. Actually, you know about, um, you know about uh, spirit guides, yes, you know that you have spirit guides. Uh, and this dragon is uh, not a spirit guide. Dragons are not spirit guides, but they work with individuals, um, especially during these days. Dragons have been coming back, getting more involved in uh, third dimensional earth at this time of great transition and turmoil on the planet. And you have much, uh, you do much good Sonia, you do much good for others, more than you realize, and yet you uh, have difficulty finding happiness. So dragon wants very much to be part of your life. This dragon specifically wants to be part of your life so that you have someone to call upon uh, for strength, compassion, protection, and, uh, and laughter. So it's hard to think that dragons could be funny, but this dragon will give you joy. Uh, this dragon understands joy in the face of adversity. So what's his name? Yes, we're just getting that now. Um, and he says, you know, their names are very long. Yes, and it's in a different language, a language that the uh, channel's voice cannot replicate. So they choose names. Um, and this uh, that are in the human tongue. So, um, so he's going to be giving me um, a name 
uh, Ox Oxford Oxfam. Mm. Uh, Will it mess anything up if I use the restroom real quick? Not at all. No, we're very happy that you're asking us so that you can be comfortable. Okay. No, we will We will be happy to sit and wait, and we will get greater clarity on the name for you. Okay. It's something funny like Oxfam or Oxford, and we think those are shoes. So we want to get... We want to get the correct name for you. So yes, okay. we will we will wait for your return. I appreciate that. Of back. course. We are reconnecting, Sonia. We are here. We are the Arcturians. Uh that was very interesting for us to have that um that uh break. That was interesting. Uh, so we want to tell you that the name that we were given is Oxelius. Oxelius. It's interesting, yes? Yes. Um, and and he says Oxy, if you wish. Uh, his name is Oxelius, but he doesn't mind Oxy. Um, so he's quite beautiful. He is uh, presenting and just beautiful. We're going to get to the, the actual healing part in a moment. <laughs> he wants the introduction though because he wants to work with you. He wants you to call upon him. He wants you to envision him, to envision your idea of how he looks. He wants you to investigate books with pictures of dragons, he says. Um, he wants you to think about what dragon energy is, to investigate it, to become more familiar with it. He would like to have you uh, go to the woods where there are no humans except perhaps uh, if someone drives you there because we understand you are not uh, mobile on your own at this time. So, but to be alone in the woods and to call upon him and to work with him, but we will get into that later. We do want to get into the healing, but first the image, the uh, picture uh, he is presenting is one of uh, iridescence and the colors are blues and greens and blues and greens and purples, violets. Um, it can, can are you understanding what we're yeah. yes uh he's very beautiful um and he is a he is a, a european uh, dragon they are the ones who are typically working with the humans uh the chinese the asian dragons have it's a different category and they have continued to work but the european dragons so you know with four legs and wings yes and mm -hmm. so he's lovely just lovely and um very strong and he has a twinkle in his eye where he's he's a, a jokester he's a he's funny so he wants he wants you to be happy uh that is his primary goal is for you to find happiness within you and because you have taken on so many physical constraints um beginning with brain chemistry, he wants to help work with those physical constraints to restore you to an ideal blueprint uh, so that choosing happiness is going to be a simple matter for you. But we will, we will talk of this in a moment. Now we want to bring in the five angelic beings who've been standing around waiting for us to stop talking. <laughs> can, I, can I ask a couple more questions? Absolutely. Um, if I am not entirely truthful about my household income so that I can get on disability, will that negatively impact my karma? And was anything mm -hmm. that happened recently a result of my karma due to needing health care and not being able to afford it and then using government assistance to get health care mm. even though my household income may be above the limit that it should be in order to receive 
that health care, uh, whereas I normally wouldn't be able to afford the care that I need without it. Yes. Has any of that negatively impacted my karma and will it moving forward if I get on disability and I'm not completely forthcoming about my household income? Absolutely not. No negative impact. You see, the, um, the government, we understand what this is, and they are not honest, are they? No. <laughs> they are not forthcoming. Um, and, and also those systems are not, um, they are not established to assist people such as yourself. Those systems have been established to perpetuate a group of people who cannot take themselves out of the system and be self-supporting. So they like to have a population um, that they can use as a scapegoat, you understand? Mm -hmm. So the system is dishonest. The system is not honorable. The system has no integrity. Um, however, um, you have paid for this system, you and others who uh, have to give a, a certain portion of your, uh, you call it money or your money, you give a certain portion to the government, yes? Mm -hmm. um, so that uh, these, uh, these uh, systems um, can be available for those who need. And, um, and the government uses these systems as weapons to maintain a population in a state of perpetual disadvantage. You understand this, yes? Yeah. The social... Re so this is dishonorable. Now, no, this is not going to uh, cause you any... Um, no, it, you are not... Um, you know what you are doing. You are speaking the language that the government understands. You see, now, you, you have to speak a language that someone understands in order to communicate, yes? Um, you would not speak Swahili with the channel. She would not understand you, correct? The government would not understand you. They would not recognize the validity of your rights, and this is your right as a, um, you call it a citizen of this country that you're in. It's the United States, we know this. Um, so no, you please do not concern yourself. The fact that you are concerned about it uh, speaks to your level of integrity, but no, the system is corrupt. The entire government is corrupt. The government is breaking down. Um, you need to speak a language that they understand to obtain the right that you have. You, you have a right to this support. Um, and you have to speak the language that they understand. You, you, yeah. Are we making sense to you? Yes. Thank yes. You. So no, you are not. Uh, how often have you called upon the government for assistance? Hmm? And you, uh, you have every right uh, to this support. You have every right to this support. Um, your guides want you. Uh, restored to your strength. Um, they want you healed of the, uh, all of the, the, we will say food allergies, but it's more than this. So there is an intention to restore you to uh, equilibrium and strength in your physical body so that you are not distracted from the work that you do to help other people. Okay. So this is this is a form of of psychic attack but it is not the curse. We're going to address the curse first and then we will talk about the psychic attack. Yes. Okay. Um and this is normal. When we say this, we don't want you to think, "Oh, oh my god." No, it's it's common. Um anyone who carries light, anyone who is a healer, anyone who has uh the intention of helping others um is is under attack at this time on your planet. So don't think, oh my God, you know, I'm, I'm going to die. No, it's, it's, we're going to take care of this for you. So, uh, so you have met Oxelius 
Um, and are you ready for the angelic realm to step in? You will have plenty of time to ask questions and we can, the work will be done while we are talking, if that's all right. Sure. Okay, very good. So we want to, um, the, <laughs> you know, the, the angelic realm, they, they, they don't have a sense of humor, you know, they're not, they don't joke. They're very, they're very kind and loving and compassionate, but they don't have a sense of humor. So they, they're really tired of me talking and they want to be able to do the work. So they're going to begin working it as five angelic beings. They are not going to do it instantaneously because that would off balance you and you would have to be you would not be functional for several days. You know how that happens when there's too much of a big change mm -hmm. to adjust to. So they're going to be doing it gradually and they're going to do it over five days, they're telling us. So for five days, they're going to be working on you to uh, remove not just the residual of the curse. And we want to say the woman who started that process is, is good. She's just going to learn and grow and, and get better. Um, and it's not something that anyone could have or should have done all at once. So they are going to be removing the curse and then they are going to be going through and clearing out all other things that are not yours and that you know so that it's just your beautiful energy yes yeah. so this is going to be five days uh they're going to ask you to do certain things to follow up and uh consolidate the assimilation the uh dragon auxilius is going to be assisting in cauterizing because you know they they have this lovely fire, yes? Mm -hmm. um, and the Oxelius will be cauterizing any wounds that are left from the removal of malevolent energies, we'll say. Okay. So, hmm? okay. Yes, good. So they, uh, they've already begun. They're impatient to get to work on you. They, they're, you are quite a cherished being and you, you don't even know this. So they're working on you as we speak. Um, yes, we don't need to be silent. Thank you. All right. Um, yes. Uh, you may feel, you may have sensations. You may not. Um, but they're going to be clearing you from your energetic fields um, and they're going to be, uh, Oxelius is going to be burning away the debris, not anything to do with you, uh, but the um, energetic debris that has been placed in your way so that your connection to source is uh, not as clear as, uh, as is desirable. Uh, so think of a river that has been um, blocked with tree limbs yes mm -hmm. so he's he's going to be working on clearing away the debris in your soul star you know this chakra mm -mm. Mm. so you know there are the seven spinal chakras yes mm -hmm. um about whoa, what do we say about 12 inches 18 inches yes 18 inches above the head is the soul star okay and then there is another chakra that is above that. Uh, but we are looking just at the soul star. Uh, you see, they haven't been clever enough to go uh, too far out. They've been staying close to your body. So it's just the soul star that looks like it needs uh, clearing out of the uh, energetic debris. So, and then beneath the feet, uh, about... Um, you know, there are chakras in the soles of the feet, yes? Okay. And then there in the arches, the arches, and then there are chakra, there is a chakra called the earth star that is about 12 or 18 inches beneath the body in the earth. And this one also has been uh, clogged up with energetic debris that is not yours. So Oxelius is clearing out these pathways these connections for you to be more grounded in third dimensional earth 
without picking up the third dimensional earth. Can we say crap? Yes, we can say crap. And uh, to clear out your connection to divine source. Uh, this is going to help you very much. Um, and at the same time, uh, the, uh, the angelic realm is going to be working on aligning the, uh, the seven spinal chakras, aligning them and clearing out debris that has accumulated and you know, there are meridians within the body. Yes, energy flows. Mm -hmm. So the tributaries, uh, yes, this is correct. Um, so there's going to be much work on the spinal column. Um, the, we want to say synodial fluid, but we don't know if this is the correct term. Um, but but the, there's a column of spinal fluid, yes. Mm -hmm. um, and then there are all the, the branches of nerve endings. Um, so they're going to be working very much. So you may have, uh, you may feel, you may feel uh, things along your spine within the torso. Um, and of course, the, the nerve endings go everywhere, yes. So uh, if you feel this, uh, don't um, recognize that this is what is happening. Um, and and we are going to be doing something to, um, at this time, and then we want to give you some follow-up to assist you in this process. But at this time, we want to remove the cords from the mason, mason, yes, this yeah. is correct, yes, mm -hmm. the mason. So, you know cord cutting, yes? Yeah. We don't like the cutting of the cords. What we have seen with cord cutting is that you know it's like a, a hose with water and you and no one's holding it and water's coming out so it's doing this yes mm -hmm. and it's looking for a place to reattach so oh you're right they're handy so let's reattach easy um and the person on the other end typically feels something and you would come to mind because it's the attachment to you that has been cut so what we prefer, and please teach people this when it is appropriate, but please teach people that call upon a sphere of divine light. Yes, mm -hmm. just a beautiful ball of loving light energy. It is in front of you now if you can feel it or see it. Okay. And you can do this, but we're not going to ask you to do this today. Uh, but you can do this anytime. Today, one of the angelic beings is going to be plucking off cords from you. Okay. And reattaching them to the sphere of light. You see? Yeah. Isn't that much better? Yeah. I have a question. Yes. Um, I found myself praying for this person last night. Mm -hmm. as, is there going to be any reattaching of cords or any ill mm. coming to me if if I find myself you know I, I was just kind of absent-mindedly wishing